Um, so next, Street Fighter, man. Street Fighter. I actually, I really enjoyed that one. I do too. And for for a child at the time, but once you like rewatch it compared to like the original Mortal Kombat, it's like Mortal Kombat is way better. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I mean, we'll get to Mortal Kombat, obviously, but it just seemed like Mortal Kombat. They they understood the game a lot more than who worked on Street Fighter because it, it almost has nothing to do with the game. Like, there's no like mm-hmm. tournament or anything like that. You got. You know, Guile, who has this personal vendetta, because I feel like they they say that several times throughout the movie, um, <laughs> uh, on M. Bison, and mm-hmm. I don't know. And there's like all the other characters are kind of involved. John Claude Van Damme, which didn't make sense to play uh, Guile, but it didn't. But I mean, he was kind of the big thing at the time, you know. I mean, but I will say, like the casting for this movie, aside from Guile, was wasn't that bad. Mm-mm. All things considered, um, you know Ryu, I thought did a pretty good job. Ken, eh, eh, I feel like they probably got got somebody better for Ken, but mm-hmm. whatever. The guy that played Vega, though, I still think just man was just dead on in my opinion. Yeah, uh, Sagat, I can't think of the guy's name. I know I've seen him in other movies, but yeah, I've seen him in other movies too. I just can't picture. I can't think of his name, but he's always like the main henchman goon in other movies all the time. Yeah. (laughs) Obviously the highlight of this movie is no doubt M. Bison. Mm -hmm. I mean, Raul Julia just like, he he plays this like it's a Broadway play or something. And it's just, it's fantastic. (laughs) Yeah. And he's so over the top in the movie and it makes it the best part. Oh yeah. It's just so great, dude. And you know, like, like we've talked about before, you know, finding out that he was basically dying while Mm. filming that, you know, just, you know, makes it even better. Well, not better, but you know, like just, it was iconic. You know, he, he was struggling, he was in pain, but man, he just gave it as, gave it as all, man. I don't know. Like again, what else, what else is there to say about street fighter? It's, oh yeah. 4.0 out of 10 on IMDb. Eh, I can see it. Yeah. I will say though, the funny one of the funniest things to me, and I, I, I kind of talk, talked to you about it before, was the stealth boat that they used to mm-hmm. get the M. Bison's a base. It's like it's like in all these other like TV shows that they use the exact same boat with like Hulk Hogan. I, I want to say it was like Tropic. Th- it's not Tropic Thunder because that's that one movie, but it was like something close to that, or it was like Thunder Lightning or something. Mm. I, I can't remember, but it was. It was just like every 90s TV show had that stealth boat in there or movie had that boat in there every single time. And it was hilarious to me. I think I think the best part about this movie is like the very end of it when they all do like their video game pose. I'll give them credit for that. 